Okay, uh, Dr. Candace Matthews, uh, the state uh, chair for Texas Coalition Black Democrats. Ron Reynolds, state representative, chair of the Texas Legislative Black Caucus. Uh, Eugene Howard, visionary outreach, Texas NAACP. Uh, no price, owner of Turkey Lake. Dr. Secretary, my gloves up, guns down. Okay. And so today we're here because you feel that there's a crisis going on with our black children in this community, not only in this community, but throughout the state of Texas. What, yes. what is going on? Yes, there is a crisis in our foster care system. We have children in foster care that are staying in hotels that are unlicensed uh, facilities as well as unlicensed rent houses. And what's happening is that we have a shortage of foster licensed foster homes. The state does not pay for licensed foster homes. This is why this crisis is inevitable because we need funding so we can license more licensed foster homes so we can eradicate the issue of having these children having to go to hotels and having to go to rent houses because I had this this week this was sent to me I had to blow it up this was sent to me by a child that's currently in CWAP in the state of Texas and when you look at this you see that refrigerator and that refrigerator has Lysol that refrigerator is not suitable for a child and for her to say that it's empty and they starving me. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. So we have to answer the call. These are our children because out of 100% kids that are in CPS custody, about 96% are African American. This is unacceptable. We have to answer the call. We have to amplify this issue. This is why it is a need for the fundraiser. And I thank my brother Lynn here at the Turkey Leg Hut that, that, that stepped up to the call, Bishop Dixon, and other community members, because we have to raise funding in order to eradicate this problem. My brother Lynn told me straight up that we could do the uh, fundraisers here twice a week, twice a month for the entire year so we could That's get this well. done. You know, and I appreciate people in the community. So people that are watching this, we need your help. We need your help with this. And we have this here where you can go right in and send the donation. Every little bit counts because you'll go and save a dog while you don't want to save a child. My God. So I want to bring up uh, Lynn Price, owner of the Turkey Leg Hut. I really appreciate him answering the call for us on this. Brother Lynn? I think this is the time that we all come together as a community. Um, it doesn't matter what race you are. You know, to a certain extent, it's for home. And I think this is the time that we all step up as humans and give back to the children. You know what I'm saying? I think we all can do it as a whole. Uh, whatever it takes, you know, I'll do my part. I think they'll do their part, most definitely. But we need everybody watching the TV to do their part as well. So we'll be giving back on Sunday. And however long it takes, we'll do it. How much are y'all hoping to raise and how will y'all be able to allocate those funds to the foster? Okay. Hold on, I don't think it's I don't think it's a goal. I think we can hit it. It's not how much how much it's we're gonna hit our target. Um, she said two hundred and fifty, so whatever we have to do to um, hit our sponsors or whatever in time, we'll do it. You know what I'm saying? And so and the funding will go directly oh, I'm sorry. And the funding will go directly to foster home development. Because the thing is that will go to home studies, more manpower stuff that's needed in order to develop these homes. That's where the funding will go. Because at the end of the day, in order for us to eradicate the problem, we have to know what our plan of action is. And that is the plan of action to do this. Because there's no need for these kids to be in hotels. And you want to get the people qualified to be able to adopt them as well, right? Exactly. And so, um, Representative Brennan, can you just talk about what you're holding? It says, I mean, there's clearly money here in the state. They're spending, according to this, $250 million dollars What's your take on that and how they're allocating those costs? Yeah, unregulated. Come on. Yeah, so so the state right now, as this says right here, this is a fact. The state has spent over 250 million housing foster kids in dangerous, unregulated places like the motels and hotels that Dr. Matthews talked about. So we are not allocating sufficient funding. That is why it's so important that we get private donations and other funding to help supplement the money that the state is spending. We have too many kids that are in dangerous conditions right now. Oh many of those kids are being abused and neglected. They don't have proper nutrition. They're lacking the school that they need because they're not, they're going from place to place. They're not able to have stability. And that leads to uh, massive 
suicides, that leads to mental health crisis, that leads to crime, that leads to them human trafficking. There are so many things that happen that are bad, that are negative. And so we're coming together as a community and I, I really appreciate the turkey leg hut. I really appreciate all of us coming together. It takes a village, the old African proverb, to raise a child. And these children, but for the additional help that they're getting from the private sector, and I commend Dr. Matthews and, and Bishop Dixon and the fundraiser, hold it up again, that we're having tomorrow. Uh, uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is supporting it. We're coming together as a community. If, if like you said, Pastor, we can come together for the Humane Society to help protect dogs and animals. We dang sure should be able to have the heart and compassion, the humanitarian crisis to help these kids to get out of these dangerous conditions so that they can stop the human trafficking, stop the crime, and stop the, the epidemic of these children being abused. And one thing, and one thing that I'm gonna say, which was about this, because the human traffickers know where our kids are. They know where they are. And then I also did research in reference to a lot of the places where I would see why children are being held. They are being held right in facilities where sex offenders are. I have that data. That's across the state. So I make sure I give it to you. And then the thing that I'm looking at is, is that this young lady here that sent this to me, you know what she told me? She told me that since there's no food in here, she has to go to her trafficker to go eat. Mm. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Please. This is something that I touch in real life. This young lady reached out to me after me and Lynn them did an interview with, with 97.9, 102, and 92.1, and they heard the interview. And this is, I got kids from around the state reaching out to me, not just in Harris County, Bell County, Pesos County, pretty much with, within all 254 counties, my phone is full. This is not okay. So in order for us to eradicate the problem, those that are you that are watching, we need your help. We need your donations so we can fix this. How, how old is that child? This young lady here was 13 years old. 13 years old, and then she gave me a fake name because she feared retaliation and she feared that her trafficker would kill her. You know, you know, for the state representative to be here, for Lynn to stop working to be here, for all our sisters and brothers to be here, something wrong. If we don't take care of our children, like I told you the other night when they pulled a gun on the little girl, then who will? You mean we can raise money for dogs, $80 million, but we can't raise money for our children, over $100 million of our children, but we can spend $250 million unregulated, unregulated? but we can't take the billion dollar budget we got the mayor office to use it here. We need Lynn and me and other people to raise money where we already got the money and we say we love our children. How the hell we love our children if we won't raise the money? Candace talking about $250,000, I'm not. I'm talking about a million. That's what I'm talking about, Lynn. We need to raise, huh? Definitely. Yeah, we need to raise, but we got NBA players in this city. We got NFL players, we got rappers, okay? Selling hamburgers, everything. We need to raise the money to give it to Dr. Candace where she can eradicate this buffoonery and foolishness and stop playing with it. Either we love the children or we don't. Either we love Jesus, we can always talk about Jesus, and he loved the children. So if we follow him, don't we love him? Well, when we put the money up, put our money where our mouth at. Put it up. And whatever money you put up, we can write a grant to a candidate that'll tell you a matching grant. Whatever you pull up, we can write a matching grant to it where we can have enough money to eradicate it. These children are dying, committing suicide, getting raped. Every three seconds a woman is raped. And these little children ain't got nowhere you can think of or protection. If we don't protect them, then the question is who will? So we need to raise the money and we need to raise it now. We're in the fourth largest city. We're one of the richest continents all right here in this country. Why in the hell we begging y'all to help us raise some money to take care of children? Dr. Cannon, Thank you for putting a spotlight on this yeah. here because it's needed. If we don't raise this money for our children, then damn it, we don't love them. And I'm gonna say this too. And what really got me with this is when I actually touched this myself, okay? I also own a foster adoption agency, okay? And matter of fact, over the past two weeks, I had to turn down placement and these children had to go to hotels and unlicensed facilities because we didn't have enough foster homes, okay? Every nine minutes, a child is coming in the foster Come on. Mm. Every nine minutes across this state, not just Harris County, 
This is not a Harris County thing. This is a statewide thing. That's right. We have children that are in Bell County that come from out of our county that's being trafficked. They telling me everything. The kids is telling me everything. They giving me evidence on everything. We need you all's help. You have caseworkers that are working in facilities. You supposed to be a caseworker, not a caretaker. They are not trained. You need foster parents that are trained to do this, Stand where here. you have the one-on-one -on -one time with That's the right. child. These are children that have traumatic experiences. Right. A caseworker can't do that. A caseworker has to be a caseworker, not a caregiver. That's our job. So state of Texas, it is a state of emergency. We need your help. We listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Did you say you got enough? No, no, Eugene, come on. Eugene, oh, late, come yes. on, say something. Yeah, no, 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 man, say what's on your heart. All right, great people, it's great to be here on such an egregious occasion. Now, we heard some, some great dialogue from some, from, from some great leaders of our community. I want to appeal to those leaders from the other side of the aisle that are different uh, members of the House than our representative Ron Reynolds here. You can't be a pro-life state and not care about the life after the child has been born. You, come on, That's come right. on. you can't force these moms to have these babies That's right. and have no resources for when the baby gets here. That's right. And then want to criminalize doctors That's and right. physicians and parents for making a tough decision knowing I don't have the resources to take care of this That's new human That's right. being. That's right. We can't lose the component of what the political decision making has done, not only to our CPS system, That's but right. to childhood, to our treasure, to our future as a whole. So Lieutenant Dan Patrick, Governor Abbott, you can't say you love babies only when they in the womb. That's right. You can't say you love babies at the moment of conception and once mama pushes them out, you don't care nothing about them. That's right. You can't say you care about education since we're in Houston and you want to reform and you got babies that not only are in CPS and HISD that can't eat and can't perform, but that's a nation and statewide issue. That's right. So I implore you to do what is right and not do what is politically expedient that's right. for your political future. Thank you. Eugene Howard. E-U-G-E-N-E-H-O-W-A-R-D. Eugene Howard. Right. Okay, and so, and I just want to say this here, guys, and then we'll, we'll we'll be done with this press conference. So, those that are watching, make sure we will be at the Community of Faith, Bishop James Dixon Church, tomorrow from one to three for the benefit luncheon. Then Sunday, Sunday Fun Day, here at the Turkey Leg Hut, save the children. We will be here from twelve to five. We will be here twice a month throughout the entire year until we meet this goal. We need y'all here. And I really appreciate Turkey Leg Hut. They donated turkey legs and everything. So come on and come get your turkey leg and come help a kid at the same time.